Hello everyone, it's me Bun Bun, and today I'll be going over the history of Chuck E. Cheese in Northridge, California. This store is very interesting being the first legacy store, and a few new videos have come up recently of this store. Anyways, let's get into the video. This location opened as a pizza time theater in September of 1981 on 8425 Reseda Boulevard with a balcony stage. The photo from what seems to be during construction shows the Chuck costume. I can't tell if this is actually Northridge, but the building and surrounding area matches somewhat well. A few photos that were labeled as from Northridge show the Dolly Dimples animatronic and the Pizza Time Theater Chuck costume, which looks pretty standard. They may have also had the Beagles around this time, which is shown in this photo. Footage from 1988 shows the Pizza Time Theater sign and exterior. You can see a few games and rides, as well as the ball pit. There's more of the showroom where you can see some art in the back and a small bit of the stage. This could be a C stage or a balcony stage, but due to the quality of the video and the angles, it is very hard to tell. It would most likely receive an updated version of the 1986 remodel between this time and 1993, which would add the checkers, new games and rides, new artwork, and a new remodeled exterior that looks similar to this. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any photos of when this store had this specific remodel. In possibly 1992 to 1993, they would remove older decor and replace it with newer decor, receive new games and rides, receive artifact shelves, and most likely remove the checkers in the interior. Footage from this time shows the two stage playing July 1993 where you can see Chuck in his tuxedo outfit. They seem to be in decent shape. The same footage also shows some of the record posters and lots of the games. Weirdly, you can see the 1991 Hollywood postcard from this footage, which was replaced by a 1993 poster later on. More footage from 1994 show the band playing Party Place, but you cannot see Chuck. Of course, Jasper is wearing his Pizza Time Theater mask. The condition seems relatively good. This video also gives great footage of the store in general, with more posters visible such as the beverages sign, salad bar sign, showroom sign, and all the postcards. The prize counter and most of the game room are also visible. A photo from what seems to be from the early 2000s shows the stage of the curtains down as well as some of the artifact shelves. You can also see some of the bad dog record poster. The exterior would most likely be changed to the one that would stand for another 30 years. In 2001, the film Made featured this store with a great look at Jasper's condition and mask. It also shows some of the store, games, and half of the showroom. In this footage, the store seems awfully bright. This was most likely to make the scenes look better, but it's very strange to see Northridge like this. You can also see the Chuck costume used in the movie. There is tons of photos of Northridge's stage and Chuck costume from presumably the 2000s. You can see the stage looking almost the same, with more photos of the shelves and art. You can see that Pasquale's drum front is the same one that is used on the road stage. This is pretty interesting as they got rid of this probably not too long after this photo was taken. Here are a few more photos of the stage. Judging by these photos, they seem to be in great condition cosmetically. The stage does look a bit strange though. It's something to do with the bots. I just can't really see what it is. Chuck is wearing full cool Chuck attire but does not have a normal hat. This one looks quite different compared to the basic red one with the C on it. A few photos from CEC West Coast show Northridge's party room before it got turned into a toddler zone. This is very interesting as I haven't seen any photos or videos of this, and they also had both the 1999 headshots and the 1991 confetti posters. Footage from September 2008 show the two stage and some of the artifact shelves. You can see some of the record posters and the Avenger Chuck costume. The stage doesn't seem to be in too bad condition, but you can't really see much of the stage in the footage either. You can also see that Pasquale still has the road stage drum front. The showroom still looks the exact same as before though. A photo from November 2011 showed the Avenger outfit and the entrance in May 2011. When the Lancaster, California location would relocate in 2011, they would send the animatronics from their mini unit 1 stage to Northridge in which they would completely replace the original animatronics. They may have replaced Jasper's Pizza Time Theater mask around here. A photo from February 2012 shows the stage. You can see that the drum front has been swapped out finally by this time. There's also a close-up of Chuck, where he looks almost the exact same. A few minor photos show the Warhols in November of 2010 and the Skytubes in September of 2011. 
Footage from CEC West Coast in February 2012 shows the stage performing. They seem to be in better condition, most likely due to the replacement of the bots. You can see that Chuck is still wearing Cool Chuck attire, but he's wearing an Avenger hat. Lots of photos from the early to mid 2010s show off the great art as well as most of the game room. A slideshow from CEC West Coast in September 2012 displays most of the artwork. Although I will not be showing all of it of course, as the video is 5 minutes long. But I'll keep in most of the artwork that was removed later on. A photo from April 2013 shows the Avenger costume, which is most likely the last time they used it. A photo from June 2013 shows the Rockstar outfit. Around this time, they would also remove the Chuck Cybermix cap. Footage of summer 2014 shows this, and he does look very odd without the hat. When CEC would stop using cover songs, Northridge's Chuck would change into his iconic look finally, with the ears on the very top of his head. Sometime in the late 2010s, or maybe even 2020, they would remove lots of the art off the walls, such as the Coach Chuck wooden signs, checkers, postcards, and most of the magazines. In 2023, they would remove the Chuck statue from the shelves. The store would be one of the last fully unremodeled stores remaining. In late July, they would start the remodel. The stages and shelves would remain the same, with the art being removed and some being hidden behind the games. They would randomly disappear during the remodel, either being destroyed or sent to Joba's Pizza Time Distribution Center. They would also replace the stage TV and receive curtains from Huntington Beach on November 5th. They would finally replace the Cool Truck outfit with the Rockstar outfit on October 26th. They would also keep the original Pizza Time Theater sign frame with the 2.0 logo inside. The grand reopening would occur on November 10th, playing a specific show tape with lots of original songs from early Rockstar and songs from the 40 Years of Fun show tape. This would be the first legacy or hybrid store of five. The store would remain the same, with the stage condition slowly declining. The store remains the same as of September 2024. Overall, this store has a very rich history. It has lots of documentation and is also about to be the fifth oldest pizza time theater after Huntington Beach closes. I find it interesting that they kept almost all of the 90s art until the remodel. I also have visited this location a few times. We are also almost at 1,000 subscribers. Please help me visit reach this goal. Also, I know it's highly unlikely at this point in time, but save Burbank at Spokane.